Have you tried raising your rates, but for some reason you just can't quite book clients at your new higher rate? Like you want to create a five figure package, you wanna raise your rates, you wanna double your rates, but for some reason when you say that new rate, you end up quoting your old rate or you change the actual offer and you like throw in all this extra stuff because you believe that you have to. If that sounds like you, then you're gonna love this video. Hi, I'm Letitia Stiles, founder of You've Got Clients, where we help coaches build their coaching programs with high quality clients. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you the seven mindsets that are blocking your money and also how you can stop making those mistakes and start making more money. Now the first thing I wanna share is why you absolutely must raise your rates. And honestly, I understand, like sometimes it feels a little uncomfortable. Like when you first raise your rates, it might feel like you're just picking an arbitrary number out of the sky and saying, okay, well, this is my brand new rate. And then you're hoping that the person says yes so that you can validate your pricing and you can say, okay, great, I can charge this new rate. But in the meantime, there's some sort of struggle. There's like an internal struggle that's happening where even though you know your rate should be higher and you wanna be in that higher tier, for some reason, you back down the price. And maybe it's because you keep hearing no after no after no after no, and you think it's the prices. But let me explain why you absolutely must raise your rates. Because the truth is, you already know deep down inside what that number should be. You just haven't admitted that the number that you hear in your head is the number that you want to charge. You're scared it's too high. You're scared that you might not be able to deliver at that price point. You're scared that you'll get laughed at, or worse, that you'll get ghosted by a client who maybe would have paid a lower rate. Just as a quick side story, I remember going to a conference and I met up with a friend who had known me for several years, but we hadn't talked about what I was doing in the coaching world. He asked me about the type of work that I did and I told him that I was offering coaching in the area of marketing and helping other business owners and coaches to pull their marketing together. And he asked me how much I charge for that. I told him I charge around $10,000, which was my rate at the time. And he said, wow, and people pay you for that? And I remember responding, yeah. And his response was just so annoying <laughs> because he was like, man, there's a sucker born every day, isn't there? And I remember sitting there and I just, I really wanted to ah, say the thing that I knew I wanted to say, but I just couldn't because I, I couldn't pull my words together at that time. And I think my response was something like, um, no, I'm, I'm actually helping my clients get results. And I wanted to later on, you know how you like replay conversations in your head? Later on, I wanted to say, well, you know I've helped clients create 10K in 10 days, right? Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, you know I've helped clients create 18K in two weeks. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, you know I've helped clients generate a million in a year. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your frame of reference is so low. So anyways, side note, yeah, let's get off of that side note and get onto you and your rates. But you know, that's essentially what you have to do. Like you have to be confident in what you offer because you're not charging your worth. Like stop trying to charge your worth. People cannot afford you. You get to receive the result of your energy, your expectation and your vibration. There are two people who cut grass and person A decides to charge $25 and person B decides to charge $500. The end result is that the grass is cut but why does person A charge 25 and person B charges 500? It's simply because they have a different vibration. They have chosen a different price. So the rate that you wanna charge is the rate that includes you know, all of the things that you know you need, like your overhead and taking care of your staff, this, that, and the other, but also it's the rate that you want to bring clients in at. There's a certain vibration that's attached to the rate that you charge and the clients that you choose to work with. Because what'll happen is if you do back down on your rates, like yes, you'll make sales here and there, but you'll secretly resent the work that you're doing, which will prevent you from really getting the results you know you can help clients achieve, which will prevent you from getting the testimonials. And it's like this downward spiral. And therefore, when you know it's time to raise your rates, you have to just choose the new number and move forward with it. So with that said, let me jump into the seven mindsets that are preventing you from raising your rates. Mindset number one is people pleaser. This is where you're scared to be polarizing. And this is if you're wondering about what other people think, if they care about how you speak, how you looked, how you act. And 
the thing is, is that a lot of times those people are not being their true selves. And so if you're trying to please other people, it's going to prevent you. It's a mindset that will prevent you from raising your rate. Mindset number two is putting yourself last. I once did a program called open to receive. And during this program, the main focus was to help clients realize that you can receive. You don't have to put yourself last. You don't have to keep giving and giving to everyone else and not allowing and being willing to receive for yourself. So that's mindset number two. If you really want to be able to grow and raise your rates, you have to stop putting yourself last. Mindset number three is peering and comparing. Now with this one, you know exactly what you want, but instead of going after it, you're watching everybody else and then you're feeling some sort of resentment because you're not going after the thing that you want you're playing small. When you know it's time to raise your rates is because you're ready to elevate and you're ready to step into a new level and a new version of yourself that gets to earn, save and spend at a new level. And if you don't take that action, if you don't step into that new level, if you don't assume the throne, as I like to call it, then all you're going to end up doing is start peering and comparing. And that is another downward spiral. And it's going to prevent you from being able to raise your rates and stick to those rates. Mindset number four that's going to prevent you from raising your rates is lack of preparation. So that means you know exactly what you want to do, but because you're not prepared for it, you're not opening up and leaving space for it. You're preventing yourself from that success that you could have. And the question you need to ask yourself here is if you knew that the next person would say yes, what would you say when you presented that rate? I think you know the answer to that one. Mindset number five is perfection. This is where you think everything has to be so perfect that you're not willing to bring what you have to give. You're always going to feel some sort of sense of imposter syndrome or feeling like I'm not worth it or what I do is not valuable or there's, you know, something that's there that I just can't quite get perfect or right. That feeling doesn't go away. But if you continue on with that mindset of everything has to be perfect, then you won't allow yourself to step into that next level to start raising your rates and to start charging at the level where you know you should be. And the thing is, is that when you raise your rates and you step into that next level version of yourself, you actually start to attract better. And because you're at a different vibration, at a different standpoint, and you've decided that you're not accepting anything less than the best for yourself, it's going to help your clients to feel and sense that same thing and help them get better results as well. Mindset number six is going to prevent you from raising your rates is that you're scared to be playful. Like all of this is a game. Life is for living. And you know, if it really comes down to it, the only thing that we really need in life is food, clothing, and shelter. So you raising your rates is a part of the game. It's a part of the game that you're playing and why not play to win? And the final mindset that's preventing you from raising your rate is lack of persistence. And that simply means that you give up too soon. Just because the first person says no to your new higher rate doesn't mean that you need to back down on your rates. Just because you see somebody else, charging something different or doing something different, that doesn't mean you need to drop your rates. Persistence pays off. And I always say that I'm sort of a stubborn believer in manifestation. And when I use the word stubborn, it's really like, I'm just persistent. Like I just know that I am not willing to give up and therefore the things that I want, they have to come into my existence. Now, I hope you enjoyed this training. And if any of this resonated with you, then I want to invite you to book a call. One of the things that we're really good at is helping clients to identify and dissolve the subconscious blocks that are preventing them from reaching their full potential. We work with high achievers. We work with clients just like you who have a coaching business or they have a service and they want to work with premium value clients. If that's you, then I'm going to leave the link in the description where you can book a call and apply. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay. Bye.